Hello and welcome. You're watching Head to Head. I'm Carrie Oderman with UATV. Deputy Prime Minister for European and Euro-Atlantic Integration of Ukraine, Dmitry Kuleba, has announced that he believes the Ukrainian diaspora should be granted the right to hold dual citizenship. According to him, this decision could help Ukraine more effectively use the potential of the Ukrainian community abroad. So how realistic is the implementation of dual citizenship? To discuss this, we welcome to our studio today Olga Poyidinak, lawyer and researcher of nationality and citizenship issues in international law. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the invitation. A lot of people may not be aware that in Ukraine, you can only have one citizenship. Now, I've ran into people that seem to hold two passports at the airport. One of them is Ukrainian. Are they illegally holding two citizenships? Uh, no, um, possibly they uh, they hold both passports legally because Ukraine does not forbid dual citizenship. Uh, Ukraine just has some mechanisms in order to reduce the cases, the number of cases of dual citizenship, but it does not forbid it as such because it's, it is a phenomenon which exists objectively regardless of the wishes of Ukraine and uh, so and some uh, some people do hold both passports uh, quite legally because uh, Ukraine yes really Ukraine has a citizen a single citizenship principle enshrined in in its constitution and the law on citizenship of Ukraine but this means not some prohibition of dual citizenship or of dual nationality but only that Ukraine recognizes uh, such people only like um, only as uh, its own uh, citizens if a person holds a ukrainian passport or and a foreign one ukraine will uh, perceive this person only as its own citizen and that is it so in ukraine if you have a ukrainian passport and perhaps a u.s passport you are ukrainian and only ukrainian yes exactly that, that means if you have an issue you can't seek help from the u.s embassy your under the jur jurisdiction of Ukrainian law? Uh, if you are uh, inside the Ukrainian te territory, you, can, you, you cannot ask the U.S. Uh, to help you because you, U.S. Uh, will, not, uh, will not be able to help you uh, within the Ukrainian territory because uh, within Ukraine you will be considered only as a Ukrainian citizen. Uh, only as a Ukrainian citizen. That, and that is it. Uh, of course, inside the embassy, inside the U.S. embassy, you will be considered a, uh, a U.S. citizen. Yes, yes, it is. But outside the U.S. embassy, um, somewhere else in Kiev, uh, you will be considered only as a Ukrainian citizen. How theoretical is this discussion that you and I have just started? How many members of the diaspora want to come to Ukraine and how would having dual citizenship make this easier for them? Um, some representatives of diaspora want uh, to, uh, to have that Ukrainian uh, citizenship or uh, want, uh, want to preserve it or want to get it back uh, if they uh, decided to uh, uh, refuse from it or at some point. Uh, and it, because it is a good thing for them uh, to have both passports, uh, both Ukrainian and some EU passport, because uh, they, uh, they can have, uh, they can enjoy uh, rights both inside Ukraine and uh, inside the, uh, the country of their second nationality. And that is, uh, that is a good thing for them. And uh, uh, in my opinion, that is a good thing, a thing for Ukraine, because they want to uh, do something if you, in Ukraine. If they want to do something in Ukraine, uh, they uh, will not have to get uh, those uh, residence permits or uh, work permits or some, uh, something else. They just do uh, something good inside Ukraine for Ukraine, uh, having their Ukrainian passports. And they can do the same uh, somewhere in, uh, in France or Italy, for example. Well, what makes a Ukrainian a Ukrainian? If, you have a, if you're a member of the diaspora and have never lived in Ukraine, of course you can bring new ideas and impulses and different education, from different educational structures. But can you identify with um, the Ukrainian society? What is the step someone has to take to get citizenship? 
Um, uh, first of all, you have to meet some, requi uh, some requirements uh, provided for in the law of Ukraine on, U uh, on, on the citizenship of Ukraine. Uh, you have to live for uh, some time within the territory of Ukraine. Uh, you, have, uh, you should have some sources uh, to, uh, of, fi of financial means. And uh, you, uh, you have to respect the Ukrainian legislation and constitution. Uh, so you, you have to know Ukrainian language. Uh, so, and uh, you should file uh, an, an application uh, to be uh, naturalized in Ukraine. So uh, you have to meet some formal requirements. Uh, and these requirements, uh, in most cases, um, uh, include the uh, residence for some time. Uh, or it can be, for example, uh, marriage to a Ukrainian citizen. So they, uh, there can be um, different situations. Uh, and uh, uh, re returning to your question about the uh, what makes a Ukrainian Ukrainian, yes, uh, today we have a huge uh, uh, discussion within the Ukrainian society uh, and uh, some uh, some of the uh, some of the participants of that discussion say that um, Ukraine a Ukrainian is not a person who holds a Ukrainian passport. A Ukrainian is a patriot of Ukraine. So um, sometimes this notion, um, the, these notions, these ideas are, are, are mixed up. And uh, for me as a lawyer, it is a great problem. Because uh, I, um, I, see, uh, I think that first of all, that is, that is a legal issue. Uh, because, uh, as a lawyer, I, uh, I see this, uh, these issues from that perspective. Uh, and we cannot say that we should, for example, deprive uh, of Ukrainian nationality those people who are not loyal to Ukraine, for example. Uh, or we should grant um, Ukrainian citizenship to everyone who uh, demonstrates his or her loyalty towards Ukraine. Uh, no, there are some, uh, uh, there are, uh, some mechanisms uh, needed in order to check uh, whether this, uh, whether a person can be granted the, the nationality of Ukraine or not. So uh, it is, um, uh, it, you, you cannot just uh, do like this and become a Ukrainian citizen. And the European Court of Human Rights says that uh, Every uh, every state uh, has a right to um, to decide who uh, who will uh, who will be and who are uh, its nationals. So uh, and it is for Ukraine to decide it uh, whether it uh, wants to uh, make um, the. Uh, uh, to increase uh, the quantity of Ukrainian nationals or not. Let's talk a little bit about passport power. Yeah. A lot of times people want to keep or have a dual citizenship because they have one passport that makes travel easier. Yeah. What about Ukraine making it easier to travel on their passport? Are they working towards this? Uh, yes, Ukraine has made a huge step forward uh, when uh, negotiated uh, about the uh, visa-free entry to the uh, Schengen zone uh, to the EU countries. It was a huge step forward, and uh, it uh, and uh, this. Um, this made Ukrainian uh, passport more attractive uh, to those uh, who, uh, who wanted to uh, travel abroad. This was a huge argument in favor of Ukrainian passports. Um, and Ukraine uh, is still working on these vis uh, visa issues with other countries. This is the ongoing process. More citizens could also mean a larger tax base. Um, is this one of the arguments for dual citizenship in Ukraine? Uh, yes, that is one of the arguments. However, uh, as far as I am informed, although I am not a specialist uh, in this issue, uh, in the issues of taxation, uh, in Ukraine, uh, something uh, depends on, uh, on the possession of Ukrainian nationality, but, but the main principle is residence. Uh, so, um, yes, maybe... Uh, 
uh, it influences this uh, the the tax uh, the taxation issues have inf influence but uh, not mm, not that huge uh, in uh, now it is more the issues of economic activities uh, of um, investments uh, and so on and so forth so um, and uh, moreover, uh, our uh, neighbor, the Russian Federation, uh, it continues to increase the number of uh, its nationals, of its citizens, and Ukraine uh, it maybe wants to do the same. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have. This is an interesting topic, and we'll be watching it, and we'll have you back. <laughs> Thank you. That was Olga Poyidinok, lawyer, researcher of nationality and citizenship issues in international law. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more with UATV.